Okay, in this video we're going to discuss the factor label method of unit conversion. Okay, so the idea here is we have some quantity of something. There's some numeric value, so in this case it's 2, but numeric values are meaningless unless there's some unit associated with it. What are we talking about? Two dollars, two dogs. In this case we're talking about yards. So yards is our starting unit, okay? And our destination unit here is inches. Okay, so we need to find some way to go from yards to inches. Now in order to do this, we're going to need some sort of equivalence conversion ratios. Okay, so we want to be able to convert yards into something else. Uh, maybe that's directly to inches. Uh, if not, maybe we can convert yards to something else and then convert that something else to inches. All right, so let's look over here at some common conversion ratios that we're aware of. All right, so these are equivalences. All right, so three feet is the same as one yard. These are equal. Right? So one yard is the same as three feet. So whichever way you write it, they're equal. And you can also write these as fractions. So three feet per one yard. This is a fraction, but it equals one because these distances are the same. So we know from our uh, basic arithmetic that uh, any value, 3 divided by 3, any value over itself, right? The numerator is the same as the denominator. This is equal to 1. This reduces, right? The 3's cancel out and you have 1 left. 1 over 1 is 1, right? So we're using that same idea here, except we're keeping units. We're ha we have to keep track of units because 3 over 1 is not 1, but 3 feet is equivalent to one yard. So this fraction is equal to one as long as we maintain these units. Okay, so this is the idea here. We're going to start um, with what we're given, which is two yards. And then we're going to multiply by conversion ratios or equivalence ratios. So we're going to be multiplying by some fraction here. Now what we want is we want the yards up top to cancel. We, so we want the unit yards down here. So we're going to treat these units as if they were just uh, multiplication factors and they will cancel out. Alright, so uh, I want yards at the bottom. So I could either write this as three, foot, three feet per yard or one yard per foot. But if I want yards at the bottom, this is the method that I want. So I'm going to put three feet per one yard. Okay, and again, we're just multiplying by one here, right? So two yards, if you multiply two yards by one, that's just two yards. So we're not changing the actual value, right? But what this does, it allows us to cancel these units out, okay? And if we cancel those units out, all we're left with is feet. So two times three gives us the number of feet. So that's six. So there are six feet in two yards. But six feet, feet is not our goal, right? Our goal is inches here. All right, so let's look at our other conversion ratios. We have these. So we have feet up here, so we're going to want feet in the denominator. All right, so uh, 12 inches per foot. So that we're going to multiply by another fraction, that's one. So this is going to be 12 inches per one foot. Okay. And the same situation happens. We can cancel out these units. And the only unit we have left now is inches. And all that remains is doing the actual multiplication. So we have uh, 2 times 3 over 1, which is 3, times 12. And here we have a unit. So we keep the unit. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 12 is 72. All right, and that makes sense because we know two yards, uh, a yard is three feet, so two yards is six feet, and six feet is 72 inches. So just based on you know fairly common knowledge, we know that this answer is correct. But we see that this factor label method uh, does indeed work. So let's try another problem as it relates to computer science. Okay, so these types of uh, unit conversions will happen all the time, right? This is uh, 
an easier one. We're talking about megabytes into bytes. Okay, so the conversions, um, we have uh, kilobytes to megabytes, right? There's a thousand kilobytes in one megabyte. So these are equivalencies. And then we also have a thousand bytes per one kilobyte. All right, so if there's some way we can go from our starting point, right, to our ending point. Um, and so we begin with, you know, our known quantity. We have three megabytes. Okay, and we want to multiply by some uh, equivalence ratio, some conversion ratio. Uh, if we want to go from megabytes, which one of these has megabytes in it? This one. There's no megabytes in this conversion, right? So megabytes, we want to be on the denominator. So that means a thousand kilobytes has to be on top. And that's per one megabyte. All right, and then we see that the megabytes will cancel out. But kilobytes is not our goal. We want bytes. Okay, so we want to know, uh, we want kilobytes here. Since the kilobytes over here is in the numerator, we want that to be in the denominator. So we have to arrange our conversion ratio as such. Uh, so one kilobyte per 1,000 bytes. Okay, and now we have our goal, right? We see the kilobytes cross out. So now all we're, we're left with is multiplication. That's 3 times 1,000 times 1,000. All right, but we keep our unit. These other units disappeared, so we don't bring those down. So 1,000 times 1,000 is a million times 3. So that's 3 million bytes. All right, let's do one more example. Okay, so this one's a little bit more complicated. We see that we are going to have one, two, and three different conversions. All right, so convert two mebibytes into bits. Now, mebibytes are slightly different than megabytes. The bi means we're talking about binary. So the prefix mega is decimal. So that's based off of um, the uh, international standard, uh, the metric system. So mega is a base 10 definition. So um, megabyte is 10 to the sixth. Right? A kilobyte is 10 to the, uh, a kilo means 10 to the third. Right? Mega is 10 to the sixth. So the binary versions that are actually close to that value, they're not exact, but it's around 1,000, is 2 to the 10th. So a kibibyte is 2 to the 10th, kibba. So the bi means binary. So you take the first two letters of um, the, uh, the metric system unit, and the next two characters are bi for binary. All right, so there's 1,024 kibibytes, and notice a kilobyte has a K, is just a KB, but a kibibyte has the I afterwards. Same here, KI, MI. So this lets us know that we're dealing with the binary version. All right, uh, it's gonna be close, but you're gonna see this, this little extra here uh, winds up having an effect. So uh, let's start with what we have. We're going from um, megabytes into bits this time, not bytes. Okay, so we need all these conversions. So we start with two uh, megabytes. Okay, and we're going to multiply by some conversion ratio. And we want megabytes here to be on the bottom. And so there's 1,024 kibibytes per one megabyte. All right, and we see, it should be capital B. All right, we see these two units cancel out. Uh, 1,024 kibibytes, right? Now we want to go from 
So we're, we're done with this, these conversions. Now we want to go from uh, kibibytes into something something else. So let's look here. Here's kibibytes, so we can go to bytes. There's 1,024 bytes per kibibyte. We want kibibyte here in the bottom. So one kibibyte. And there's 1,024 bytes. All right. And we see kibibyte now cancels out. What about the bits? So we don't want bytes, we want bits. There's a difference, right? There's eight bits for every one byte. Okay, so we want this B unit to cancel. So we got one more conversion down here. Um, how many bits per byte? We want the byte down at the bottom. So one byte. And now uh, there's eight bits per one byte. So again, this fraction is just one. The value of it is one, um, and we can cancel out these units. So we're, so we're not changing the, the actual value. All we're doing is changing the units. Uh, and so now the only unit left here is bits. So the, all that remains is we have to do our multiplication. So this is two times uh, 1,024 times 1,024 times eight. Now this is a little bit, uh, and that's 8 bits, so that's a little bit um, more tricky to do in your head, so you're going to have to get a calculator, unless you're just really good with math, arithmetic. Alright, so what I like to do in these cases is uh, I like to pull up uh, a terminal and use Python for computer science. So. Uh, if I run the Python command, I'm running the Python in interactive mode, and I need to find out what 2 times 1,024 times 1,024 times 8 is. Okay, and we get a number uh, that's fairly large. Right? So notice the 16 here, though. If, if we had been using um, kilobytes and megabytes, this would be 1,000 instead of 1,024. So this would be 2 times 8, which is 16, times 1,000 times 1,000. So that would be 16 times 1,000 times 1,000. So we see that little 24 in, in the binary version actually winds up adding up to quite a bit. All right. So we see this, we, instead of this being 16,000 or 16 million, it's quite a bit more. It's 777 thousand more right so this value going back is 16 seven 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 and the two sixteen two sixteen and that's bits Okay, so we got our goal. Right, this was our goal. So that's the idea behind factor label method of, of unit conversion. It's just ratios and you start somewhere and you're multiplying by one each time. So you're not changing the amount, all you're changing is the unit and the units cancel. So hopefully that helps you with uh, some of your future computer science conversion problems.